Imagine a game that ends 60 to 60. Everybody knows what kind of game that is. It's going to go into overtime. It was a great game. We scored, they scored, we scored, they scored. We stopped them, they stopped us. 60 to 60 is a great game. Now think about this. Let's say in that very game we went back and in the first quarter we just did one extra little thing. We scored a three-pointer instead of missing it. And one time the other team got a wide open three-pointer, but we played a little better defense, got a hand in the face and forced them to miss. In each quarter, in each eight-minute segment, we add one little thing that we do well, and we take away something from the other team. In other words, in each quarter, we add three points to our score and take three points away from the other team. That means at the end of the game, we don't have 60 anymore. We have 72. And the other team, instead of having 60, has 48. Now think of yourself opening a paper and looking at a, at a game score and seeing 72 to 48. What's your first thought? Great game? <laughs> no way. 72 to 48 is a slaughter. The game's not even close. And then you think about it. Wait a minute, 72 to 48. All that kept that from being a 60 to 60 tie was a little thing each way in each eight minute period. I hope you can understand by thinking about the difference between a 60-60 game and a 72-48 game, that it's very crucial the way you think, the way you practice, and the way you prepare.